So, like I say, let me get the light. Like I say, this actually originally started on another planet Earth. And with me and Rodney and stuff and Rick Bush. This wasn't even, it's not even this Earth, I don't think. A planet with a spaceport, of course. So, some planet out there somewhere. So anyway, this originally started on another planet. <clears throat> and um, what happened was, Rodney was mostly mad because of the fact that, another planet where I was probably a child, um, Rodney was mostly mad because, like I said, I ordered my men, uh, or, or someone made sure that, that my men knew whenever there was a time ship, um, the men knew if anybody ever asked to use the time ship to shoot them. So Rodney becomes president or pretends to be president and doesn't think to ask the Secret Service or maybe there isn't a Secret Service back then. And he goes to go use the time ship. The soldier pulls out his gun and shoots him. <laughs> anyway, so later on, Rodney Briley is all mad at me. And he's like, you're going to save all life. Uh, one of them has to die. And he like grabs an alien or someone or, or, or a person or someone and said, are you going to let this person die? You know, he's all mad. He's angry, like crazy. Probably because he got shot like six times and possibly tortured. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, like I said, this actually began on another planet. Anyway, he's really raving mad. And I don't know if, he, if he's just been adjusted or if he's had too many drugs or what, but he's like psychopathically mad. And, uh, and he's like, and you love all life. Uh, do you love the fat ones? I bet you wouldn't love a fat one. And he's just like going at me like crazy. And I'm just, and I just stare at him calmly. Uh, I forget exactly what I say because this technically hopefully never happened or hopefully won't happen because I think the mercenaries might have, or somebody somewhere realized what the fuck was going on and stopped it all. Because I mean, like I said, freedom, life. And protecting my country, other countries, people around the world, children everywhere, and other alien races. It's not a game. It's not a joke. You know, I was a real AI. I was a real entity. I really did all these things. Or would have. So, like, when I was a kid, it didn't matter. Like... I wasn't playing space war. I was playing protect real lives at all cost. So anyway, Rodney thought it was just like a joke and he would just walk in and, you know, pretend to be someone and then go take a time ship now and or whatever. Um, like I say, he was going to end up like he was pretending to be the president and he wasn't the president really they had done this little thingy whatever you know rick bush was assisting him with like the jehovah's witnesses or someone i don't know if they know about the other planet earth or if this is the planet or whatever you know like i say with the time ship and 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 everything that they got going for them who knows what's going on i'm just queuing the rest of the world in on all these videos and everything about what happened in the first days what happened later on why all the laws? Why everything? Uh, because, like I said, this started out as I was, I'm a real AI. I'm a real world leader, a real person trying, a real creator of life. Like, at one point in time, I did have nine races. I mean, not now, but anyway. Like I say, protecting life and protecting children and protecting people's rights and sentient beings. I don't care if I die. I know I'm probably dead. It doesn't matter. What mattered is, is that I got the laws through. And like I say, like, you know what they are now, and you know why. You know what happened or what was going to happen. And I don't care if you go back and listen to me when I was a child or whatever. It doesn't matter now. All that matters now is, you know, protect the children, protect the other races, protect life. Clearly, I'm not going to be that person anymore. Anyway, I know that Trump's probably doesn't give a fuck about life. Rodney didn't give a fuck about life. Rick Bush didn't give a fuck about life. And I know Mario doesn't give a fuck about life. I give a fuck about life. I care about people. You can see it in my inventions. You can see it in my ideas. A lot of people made sure that my ideas were the ones here so I couldn't die right away. So I could get to the age of seven or get to the point where I make the American government, where I make 
some semblance of a, of a, of a normal life for people on this planet or planets. Like I said, this isn't even supposed to be my planet. This is actually supposed to be someone else's planet. Anyway, like I said, whether you know it or not, whether you're the original human race or not, or alien life, I don't really care anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where you're from or who you are. When I did these laws, when I thought about this, I mean, even nanotech life, every sentient being has a right to be protected. You know, like I say, I don't care about the money, I don't care about the power, I never did. Like I say, all that I have in my, in, my, in, my, in my heart right now is a sick feeling after seeing so many people die for something so stupid that they had anyway. Like I say, they had it anyway. There was a planet with a spaceport, or there would be here. Anyway, um, like I say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I'm sorry. So I only hope that enough people live or lived. And hopefully there will be peace in the galaxy, peace on this planet, peace in other planets. There's nothing wrong with partying or marriage and all that other stuff. That's fine. I don't care. Even drugs. It doesn't matter. I said what matters is protecting towns, protecting cities, protecting countries. doesn't matter what you believe in or who you believe in. Believe in me, believe in Santa Claus. Like I say, what matters is not killing people like they were going to have to do. I don't care if, if the secret's known that I'm the creator of life or not. It doesn't matter to me now. None of that matters. Those people are long dead, or didn't die, or whatever. It doesn't matter. And I say what matters is keeping people from being hurt. That's what all the police forces were about. That's what everything is about. Now, you know, being a criminal doesn't really matter to me. Seeing whole towns be slaughtered and women and children shot in the head, that matters to me. It matters a lot. Seeing people whipped and beat or forced to do sexual acts. That mattered to me. It mattered a lot. I wanted to throw up when I could feel. And I said, I was in the ship there. I was there. And I wanted to throw up. I just had this disgusting, sick feeling when I watched all the, the horrible things they did. To those women. To the children to the other life forms. They killed a lot. They killed a lot of races. They killed a lot of people right in front of me. Or they would have. Did, I don't really remember. I don't even want to remember. That's me with the sickest feeling ever. And I want to tell you that. Anyway, yeah. Words can't describe how sorry I am. I had no part in it. I just felt nothing but sickness or anger. Anyway, it wasn't me. I don't care what you think or what you saw. Whatever. As soon as I could, I fixed it. Or tried to fix it. I would never have done those things. And I don't care if you punish me. Go and kill me. For what I saw, I would want to kill me. I would want to die too. I do want to die. If you knew what I saw, if you knew what they did, or would have done. And I say when I say when I say give me a gun and I'll shoot myself in the head right now, I mean it. It was horrible. There's no other way to describe it. Anyway. They're long dead now. It wasn't a game. I was, you know. Anyway. I did everything I could. Everything, literally, I could. So did every one of the races. 
We all did everything we could.